we were sort of looking around to find the right director for the sort of feeling that I was looking for, and we struck upon The Wiz, who's a really talented younger English director. He wanted to do something that was sort of a cross between, in his mind, Salome, the story of Salome, and sort of Aubrey Beardsley drawing. It was just supposed to mirror a silent film with the sort of the framing of the picture a certain way and the way the film was shot. I think everything was supposed to be exaggerated visually, from the hair and makeup to the size of the guitar and the type of guitar and the bow. And I think it was all just supposed to be very well, stranger than life. You know, Billy has this great poetic ability to, to sort of shed light on the tragedies of existence. And uh, he seems to be someone who's trying to recondition the heart, if you like, to reconfigure tragedy uh, as something that we should we need to embrace and elevate as as a proof of a proof positive of life. The song is actually a lot darker than people think it is because it's sort of somebody somewhat wrestling with the idea of what being in love means and sort of almost the responsibility of that and how in a weird way we almost reject the magnetism of being in love. You know, Smashing Pumpkins have a great sophistication and you know, cinematic literacy and sense of style, and it was a very rewarding experience working with them. We had this uh, young uh, Belgian designer uh, make our clothes for the Machina album, and he'd made these incredible bell dresses that we were all going to wear. And we thought they looked really cool and strange, and we knew they were going to film very well, and you could see these big shots that The Wiz was doing from above, and they just looked crazy. I mean, it, it was, looked so beautiful. We were in these enormous hoop skirts, and <laughs> it looked really great, just like where we were <laughs> playing on these insane platforms. And OK, again, stand aside your love is, is what I'm talking about, about when you go on a video set, somehow your brain tricks you into just saying yes to everything. We spent an, an enormous amount of money on this, those clothes we were wearing. And again, it's like, put this harness on, okay, or put this hoop skirt on and go play a kettle drum. Then, all right. And then you, you, and you start doing it and you're like, what the hell am I doing? I wanted to get this really high contrast, inky, like black and white. We had to experiment with the amount of makeup, and again, to emulate that early cinema feel. I know a lot of people didn't like the whole thing about the king rubbing his fat breast, but I always find it amusing. This video is an example of me left to my own devices without somebody like Jonathan Valerie to get me to bring it back towards the middle. This is more my kind of vision of darkness, and I think it's a classic example of where this video, to me, to Elena, to my friends, everybody thought the video was just stunning and beautiful, but nobody else really got it. And that's just a clear example that what you like and what you're attracted to isn't always what translates to other people. Sometimes you have to find some sort of compromise in your vision. You're not just trying to make something for yourself, you're trying to attempt to communicate. I think simpler stories are better suited for videos. For me, the concept with the song and in the video format was a hard thing to do and hard thing to translate because you try so hard to tell this story that shots that connect with the music get cut out, you know, don't get shown with it because you have to tell the story. I'm not sure it really communicates the energy or power of the song, but it's definitely a look. It's definitely a stylized video. This video is, to me, just gorgeous. It's just so beautiful. I'm not sure the story came across clear, but again, when you're trying to compact a rock and roll video and a story into four minutes, it's quite a challenge. But this video can stand just on the visuals alone. It's a great love song and a great love story, so I think it's a, another one of our best videos.